Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to make a very compact movie theater. Now, yours doesn't have to be this small. I chose an 8x8 because all the faces and whatnot in Minecraft are all 8x8 pixelated. So that's what I like to do. So let's just see what this thing does. If I come over here and press this button, it starts moving like a movie theater. <laughs> well, not like a movie theater, but a Minecraft movie theater. Now the one, the good thing about this one that I like a lot too is that you can use both sides. There's two different sides you can use. So if you're making a movie theater in Minecraft, then you can make one of these and it can make two different rooms for the movie theater. As you see, that's an Enderman. I got a creeper face and a skeleton face. But if we come to this side too, as you can see, we have another movie theater on this side. And look at, look how small this thing is. Look how nice and compact this thing is. Since now that we can use the glowstone with redstone dust, it makes it very easy to make a nice, small, compact movie theater. Movie theater! <laughs> All right, guys, so let's start building this thing. All we have to do is hit this lever and it will turn off. So let's start building the movie theater. Yay! All right, guys, so I can't really give you a definite on the materials since it's just pretty much, you're gonna be doing this for fun. I mean, I don't know why you're gonna need this in survival, but if you're building cool things in survival, go right ahead. But you just need to know that you're gonna need a lot of glowstone and a lot of regular pistons. You're gonna need probably like two handfuls of redstone dust, which is easy to come by, and around maybe 10 repeaters. And then the rest of this is just for me to uh, separate the different screens. We're also going to need one button, one sticky piston, and one lever. Now, I, like I told you, I'm gonna be doing an eight by eight because most faces in Minecraft are eight by eight, like my moose face or an enderman face, skeleton face, what, so on and so forth. But once you know how to build it, you can make it go up to at least 12, because, no, 11. Because, I mean, pistons can only push up to 11 blocks. So if you want to make like a whole little foreground, background looking thing that looks really cool, then go right ahead. So what we're going to start off doing is putting it one block down. And also, if you want it to be completely on ground level, you're going to have to dig down at least one block. If you want it to be ground level. For this, I'm just doing straight up off the floor. So we're going to put down one block, and then we're going to put one glowstone right on top of it. Next, we're going to put a piston and then go up eight. So one, two, three, four five, six, seven, and eight. Next, we're gonna delete the block right underneath the glowstone, and then we're gonna put a glowstone in between each other like this. And then for this part, you might wanna use a regular block if you don't wanna waste your glowstone if you're on survival, but for me, I'm just gonna do it like this. So up one, delete, up one, delete, up one, delete, like that. And then we're gonna put redstone dust down on all of them, like that, beautiful. Next, we're gonna put one block right here to the side of it, and we're gonna put dust on top of that block. Next, we're gonna put a repeater going into the block like this, set to one tick delay, and a repeater coming out of the block right underneath it, set to four ticks delay. Next, like I said, we're gonna be doing an eight by eight. So if you wanna do the eight by eight, that's great, but if you just wanna learn how to do it, then go as far or as small as you want. What, what I like to do is starting off on the first pistons, I always put a black line. I do black lines to uh, separate the faces. As you can see, separate the faces. So it looks good. And then all I do is after putting that first black line, I just count over eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we put another black line right here. So then we just fill this all in. You know what? Ugh. I don't like, like people tell me to use the swiftness potions. I already know to use the swiftness potions. I just don't like it because like in the video, then you're gonna see those little squiggly lines and they annoy me. But for this part, I guess it doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna fill in our little eight by eight frame, whatnot thingy. And then we're gonna put another black line right at the end of it. And now from this black line, we're gonna go right over one from here and go up eight like we did over there. So go all the way up on eight. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the glowstone. Now this glowstone, you want it to come out towards this side, not straight out the back, because this is gonna be one of our front screens. So if we have it coming out this way, then we're gonna have to bring our screen all the way out and that'd be stupid. <laughs> so come out to the right hand side, because this is our front right here. And then we're just gonna do the same thing. Skip a glowstone, skip a glowstone, skip a glowstone, and then we're just gonna fill in the back and then break in between each one. And we're gonna put redstone dust down and redstone dust down and then put a block down under here. What color did I use? Green, okay. <laughs> put a block down under here with some dust, put a repeater going into the block right here, set to one tick delay, and a repeater coming out of the block set to four ticks delay. And like I said, we're gonna skip with our line right here and we're gonna put in eight again. So using a different color, one. So make sure there's always one in between the gap except for the first one. The first one has no gap, but all the other pistons will have a gap. Also, it looks like it's going nighttime soon, so let's try to get this one in fast, so. We gotta go over eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and fill it all in. Now, like I said, yours isn't going to be like all pretty colors or whatnot. You're probably going to have some sort of uh, pixel art going on in here like I did over there with the creeper face and everything and make it look really cool. But I'm not going to do all the faces because then it would just take longer to do the faces. I'm sure you guys can find online where to do the faces and whatnot. So like over there, we're going to come out eight and then we're going to kind of come out one more with a black line. And then we're just going to come over one again, face it this way and go up eight again, which you, I don't have to count out because technically we're right next to it. And now it's going nighttime. So I'm going to sleep real quick and come right back. And we're back. <laughs> it is daytime. So now all we have to do is put in our glowstone again. So remember, we start with the bottom one and then go up, up, up. Make a nice little line. If you're doing this on survival, I wouldn't waste your glowstone. <laughs> Make a little glowstone bling right there and then we're gonna put one block on the back of it with some dust on it put a repeater here set to one tick delay and put a repeater here set to four ticks delay next we're gonna come over again another eight so come out one and then go over eight one two three four five six seven eight and then fill them all in like i said if you're doing some nice pixel art i mean it doesn't really matter you could still fill it in and then put the pixel art in later so that's what I mean. That's what I did for mine. I put in like the eight for the I did like the main color of the whole thing. And then I would, I just punched out the eyes and everything all nice. Like here we go. And then we're going to put a black line right at the end of it. And then we're going to do it again with the pistons. And we're now we're going to face it towards these pistons over here. So we're going to go up eight again. So we and eight <laughs> and we're going to put our glowstone in again. So glowstone, glowstone, glow. Oh, this one actually never mind. If you want to have two movie theaters, like one on the front, one on the back, then this one's going to have to come out towards the side. So up like that. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And then all the way up. Break the individual ones in between. And then put dust on top of them all. Like so. And then put a block down underneath with some dust. A repeater going into it set to one tick delay and a repeater going out of it set to four ticks delay. And now all you have to do is take your redstone dust and literally just connect it to each back of each repeater like that. So all the way down and then connect it to the repeater all the way down and then connect it to the repeater all the way down and then connect it to the repeater like that. And now all we have to do is fill in our last eight. Now this last eight is going to have a two thick black line. You'll see what I mean. So we're going to come out one like we did on all the other ones and count over eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. And then we're going to put another black line in here. See how there's two black lines there? This is the only one that's going to have two black lines. And then we're just going to fill it all in. Fill it all in. Fill it all in. And we're almost there. No, we're technically not. <laughs> so once we get this all filled in, beautiful. Now, for, starting from the, this is your front screen. This is your front main screen. So you want to go to the left-hand side of your front main screen. And we're going to delete one of these redstone, delete a block down, and then put our redstone down right here. And then we're going to go up two blocks. So one, two, delete this block, then go up two more. One, two, delete the middle one and put a sticky piston. This is our one sticky piston we're using facing downwards onto this block. Then we're going to put some dust on there and this is going to be our on and off switch so like after you're done watching the movie and you don't want to watch it anymore this will turn it off and then right here right be right after it where we're going to start this is where our input's going to go right here you want your input here because then if you turn it off you could still switch it over one at a time so if you want to get your screen perfect again you can do it so make sure it's always after the block and then whatever you just put your input in i don't need to really make a line for it right now so there we go and that's <coughs> sorry i got something stuck in my throat even though i'm not eating anything so now actually what we're going to need is our block of choice for the front of our screen for the front of our screen where the black line is we're going to come out two and then just fill that in always come out two from the black line or whatever you have there and then like i said we're going to come this is why you have to come out too because this side you have to come out too so that makes it nice and even same thing with this side if you decide to use this side just come out where the black line is and then go up and come out too and then you know you fill in your wall or whatnot wherever you want it so come out too and there we go we're done so if i click the button we can watch our stupid movie that uh has nothing on it <laughs> Ooh, what happened Why isn't this one go? Oh no, I didn't put the dust down on it. Okay. <laughs> I'm a 
I'm like, why isn't this one going? Okay, you probably got, you guys probably caught me on that a long time ago. There we go. <laughs> got to put the dust down, and now it messed up the movie. No. But no, it will work fine. Just remember to put the dust down on the glowstone. I was stupid. <laughs> but there you guys go. That's how you make a working movie theater. If you like this video, leave it. Well, a working compact movie theater. I have an old one on a movie theater, but it's not as compact as this one. So if you like this video, leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned to my newest videos. And if you want to turn it off, just click down the lever and it's off. And the reason why I tell you to always put it before it is because now look, if I want to, I can make it go wherever I want. I can make it move over one at a time until I get the screen uh, perfectly lined up again. Even though I messed up everything because I didn't put the rest of the dust on, down on it. Alright guys, peace!